Hey everyone and welcome back. Some really cool things have been happening for the channel, Unreal, and things in general throughout the year. So I've taken the opportunity to round it all up and share it inside of this video. I also have an offer that I think will be really great for people especially tuned in to this channel. So be sure to stick around to see that at the end of the video. So the first thing I wanted to cover, and I didn't really get a way to do this in its own kind of topical video previously, but that is to acknowledge the channel has hit 10,000 subscribers and since then has quickly been gaining speed and is already nearing the 12k mark at the time of recording. So this has been really amazing and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and it's great to see the content that I create is starting to reach and help so many people. So again, thank you all for sticking with the channel, subscribing, giving your feedback and getting involved in the community. And again, just helping get this content out there to hopefully help new developers or experienced developers with different aspects of developing games inside of Unreal, Unity, Blender, and all of the things that we cover here. On that note, I also wanted to mention that of the subscribers I have, only 10% of you have actually chosen to receive notifications. And I really just wanted to mention this in case you're not aware that although you've subscribed to the channel, you may not be receiving all of the information and updates that might be of interest to you if you haven't clicked the small notification bell. So be sure to do that if you'd expected or wanted to get notified and find things were a little bit silent from my end. You may have just missed some updates and community posts and things like that. For example, I've recently started using the community section to make announcements like the creation of a dev-enabled public Discord server, where you can all go to get social, create and share projects and progress, ask questions and much more. And of course, if you've subscribed but haven't selected to receive notifications, you may have missed that update. And did you notice how smooth that segue was? So of course, though, if that's the sort of thing that interests you, there will be a link down below to join the Discord server as well, so be sure to check that one out. Discord is also another place that I'll be providing certain updates and announcements, and one of those announcements I've made is for the recent release of my Endless Runner Creator asset for the Unreal Marketplace. And again, super smooth segue. The Endless Runner Creator though comes with eight different examples based on popular Endless Runner games. It supports desktop and mobile platforms, including automatic input switching between key presses and touchscreen, and also platform specific hints depending on the platform it detects you're playing on. The entire project is well commented with the intention that the eight different examples can be used as either a complete starter point for you to expand on with your own ideas or to take reference from various 2D or 3D game types and also the player movement. You also get examples for simple stylized player pawns using things like basic geometry or 2D textures to fully animated skeletal meshes and paper flipbooks. Again, if you think this is something that may be of interest or could help, I'll leave a link for this in the description below to the marketplace. Now onto that big final announcement and the thing I'm really excited to share here. And some of you already know this and it's been great to have already been welcomed into the existing community so kindly. After being approached by the Game Dev TV team, I've created a new section for their incredibly popular C++ course. The team is currently really actively finding ways to update and refresh the course for the newer features in the recent Unreal Engine version as well as just taking a slightly new direction with the content to cater to a wider variety of people, and I've been fortunate enough to be part of this. So right now, as I release this, if you already have access to the Udemy course, you'll have immediate access to two new sections, one by myself, where we create an arcade-style tank game, as a lead-up to the other new section created by Sam, where you'll create a small third-person shooter. And for those of you that haven't already taken the course but you think you might like to learn some C++ from one of the best online learning resources, Game Dev TV have been kind enough to provide some time-sensitive discount codes to get full access to the Udemy course right now to celebrate the release of these brand new sections. This will give you full access to the course at the very lowest price and that offer is valid for the next three days. As always, I'll provide a link in the description below if you think that's something you'd want to make use of. I've already spoken to some of you over there, but I look forward to hearing from more of you on their forums and the social pages. And just to be very clear, the coupons I provide are as a Game Dev TV affiliate. So as well as getting the course at the lowest price possible, you'll also be helping to support me and the channel. I've also included some coupons as well for their other courses as they're making updates across the board, including their Blender course, now with content from the super talented Grant Abbott, which I'm sure many of you are aware of if you've tried doing any game asset creation in Blender and following some tutorials on YouTube. His content is golden. 
So that's my list that could be of interest to people here. The channel is growing well, and I'll be sure to keep the content coming. I've launched a public Discord server, so if you want to be part of that, be sure to head over and say hi. I've taken my first foray into the Unreal Marketplace with content inspired by the endless runner playlist on this channel. And of course, Game Dev TV have released two new sections to improve the existing content featuring me with the potential of more to come on their platform. So I hope that you've enjoyed the video. The usual weekly tutorial will still be coming later in the week, but I hope you find something of value here too. As always, remember to like and share if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more content. And of course, if you have already subscribed, be sure to click the small notification bell just to get those updates with potential time-sensitive benefits like in this video. As ever though, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.